Hello my convicts, it's me, the Kappa Convict, bringing you guys another video. I wanted to bring this video to you guys because I was asked in the comments on my YouTube channel regarding to the Nakon and to see if it would actually work with PC and Steam games. Well, I just wanted to let you know that unfortunately it doesn't work just straight out of the box. You can basically plug it in, try and play them and it won't. I've tried it on a couple of PC games as you can see here, which is Subnautica, Dead by Daylight, and Speedrunners, and it, it doesn't work. It plays about with the mouse to the point that I couldn't physically move my mouse. It was just literally staying like this and just wobbling all over the place. It does allow you to move in Subnautica forward, backward, left, and right, but you can't physically turn your head. And I did try and use a program which I've just that you will have just seen, which is this, which is XPad of 5.7. Now it does control. Now if I move this around, you can see it controls my mouse and you can see it controls the legs and everything. Uh, now I've done a little bit of play testing with it, but apparently it just wouldn't work. Even on Subnautica, it just didn't want to play at all. Even with it showing and demonstrating now that it's moving the arrow around, it just physically won't move your head in Subnautica. I'm not too sure why or what's causing it. And I couldn't even go through the menus because it was just completely messing about with the, the mouse. And when I tried to control it with my mouse rather than the controller itself, it just wouldn't do it. I had to Alt and F4 just to get out to be able to get back to the beginning and get control of my mouse again. So I, I wouldn't recommend it, guys. If you do want to do it, and you have got XPad of 5.7, if I can say it right. You can use your PS4 controller, or you can even use your Xbox One controller as well. These two controllers do work with XPad of 5.7 really, really well. I would say Xbox One is the most dominant, the one that I would always tend to use, because with PlayStation 4, you have to map the buttons individually. Now, there is two videos on my YouTube channel, which I'll quickly show you now. And I've done videos of this already, showing you how to use XPad of 5.7 with both of those controllers. So I'll just quickly show you. So if you go up here to the playlists, and it's down in the tech help. If you just pause that, and go over here, you can see how to use the Xbox One controller on the culling, which is one. And then there's also how to use the PS4 controller on the culling with DS4, because there's DS4 and there's XPad of 5.7. Now I would definitely recommend XPad of 5.7. DS4 is kind of buggy. It is a little bit buggy and it, it needs fixing because I've, I've seen this jitter in the game and the sensitivity you could just minutely press the thumbstick to the left or right and it wouldn't respond you'd have to have quite a a fair amount of travel before it would actually start to register that you was actually pressing the, the stick so i would definitely say if you're going to do it to go for the xpana 5.7 on there I will put a link to the description so you can get the XPad of 5.7 as well as the image as well, which is this one in the background you can see here. Because when you first start off, the first image you will get is this one first. Then when you press that and you press new, you would get this image. And then you'd have to find the image on Google, which needs to be a BMP. And then you need to paste it and that would be how it works. And then you just basically assign all your buttons by following these buttons down here. And it will give you simple instructions to follow and you can follow them. Now, if you want to double check and you're not too sure about XPad 5.7, how to use it, then like I said, I'll put in a link in the description below, guys, so you can actually follow that tutorial that I've just shown you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I do apologize that no, the Nacon Revolution Pro Controller doesn't work with Windows very well. It doesn't work with the games on there. You can try it out and test it for yourself. Maybe you can get it to work, but I I had a little bit of play testing with it and out of the box it doesn't work. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up 
if you did enjoy this video. And I'm the Capra Convict. I'm signing out, guys. And as always, I salute you. See you next time.